that quality of life has become an important part, not just of the upper uh, peninsula, but in almost all regional economies across the United States. So you're really in a competition, if you want, uh, among all, and I've talked to a lot of you, and uh, you know, you all have a different story often of how you arrived here and settled here, uh, or where you were before you, you got here. Uh, but people are aware of the attractive uh, features associated with different places, uh, and having a high quality of life, both in terms of natural environment and in terms of social environment. Uh, has become extremely important in attracting them and holding uh, residents and, and uh, new economic activity. Uh, that's just another way of saying, that, at least the way I would put it as a natural resource economist, is, is the role of our natural resource, the, no, the role of our natural landscapes as a source of natural resources has changed. Uh, it's changed from just being, uh, if you want, a warehouse of potential commercially valuable products to go out and harvest, uh, to dig out of the earth, to harvest from the land, to turn into something and send off as, as an export. Uh, that natural landscape also provides a broad range of environmental services or natural services, recreational activities, scenic beauty, open space, uh, quiet, wildlife, uh, recreational opportunities, uh, 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 clean air, clean water. That natural landscape is not just a source of commercially valuable products to be extracted. It's also a source of things that are uh, also extremely valuable in terms of supporting our, our uh, uh, own lives and our feeling of well-being and that of our families in the place where we live. So that, that natural landscape, just the view of it, and how it supports economic activity uh, uh, has to be looked at in an entirely different way, which is where the, the title of the, of the talk came, through, came from. Uh, there's one, one other, uh, and, and I, I should add, and if, if you look at the PowerPoint or the paper, there'll be some graphics demonstrating it, that uh, you live, if, According, only a scholar, only scholars would do this sort of thing. Uh, a lot of work has gone into uh, trying to quantify what, according to the way people actually behave, how uh, they actually vote with their feet, what, what is a high quality natural landscape? And of course, you have to come up with an index so you can score it quantitatively. And the Western UP uh, is in the top quarter. Of, of the non-metropolitan counties in the United States in terms of attractive uh, natural landscapes. Interesting, one of the other features of some of the studies is uh, 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 entrepreneurial, uh, uh, innovative uh, 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 business firms uh, who are uh, creating new products uh, clustering together so they can share their information, etc. And uh, uh, Houghton County uh, is in the uh, top quarter in terms of that concentration for the size of the population. Uh, so uh, uh, Michigan Tech is having uh, impact and the uh, uh, Keweenaw Economic Development uh, Organization is having an impact in the economic gardening approach, uh, which is sort of the opposite of economic base. The economic base approach is you sit there and wait for a large corporation to come along and give you jobs. You just sit passively there and twiddle your thumb and cry. Uh, the, the sort of the polar opposite of that is the, not that we individually all can do everything, but it's the entrepreneurial energy that. Uh, is spun off as a result of our interaction with each other and our neighbors and some of the uh, uh, people who are more willing to take risks and, and, and more creative, uh, where, where the economic activity grows from the, the population you have and the resources you, you have available. Now, one doesn't have to choose one or the other, but, but one is a more active engagement uh, with the economy 
uh, that uh, uh, sees the population as, as less dependent and less, less passive.